For more than 20 years, professional golf has been Kelly Gibson's life. But after his hometown of New Orleans was ravaged by Hurricane Katrina, he answered a different calling. I knew there was bigger stories than what they were showing on national television, that, that there were a lot of people doing a lot of good things from the police department to the Coast Guard to emergency workers that had to have been impacted just like everybody else. Our city's going to get destroyed. We've got to do something. And that's when the wheels started turning and the emails started. I get to meet a lot of people that make a lot of big decisions. And so I'm trying to utilize my contacts from around the country, from even around the world, to say that we need your help. So Kerry, I don't know what you could do, but I need some help. So I jumped on a plane the next morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, ended up at Shreveport, and as I step off the plane, I see my trucks drive by on the interstate. So, ah. Uh... The first place they wanted us to help was the Coast Guard, which got heavily looted, and those members of the Coast Guard that were representing everybody here in New Orleans lost a lot of their own personal valuables, their houses, they didn't have food. First four days, we worked pretty much 22 hours a day with about two to three hours of sleep, eating MREs and drinking bottled water. The first couple days, you weren't really even hungry. This station alone, just from right here, our operations, in the first five days, we saved 3,200 lives. I didn't really know what I was getting into. Just patting them on the back and telling them that, you know, there's people outside of the city right now that are caring for you. A hot dog or a hamburger tastes like a filet mignon, you know, so it was awesome that when Kelly showed up, the morale rose in, on this base alone. We had many days here with no meals, let alone hot meals, and a hot meal for us is brings us back to the things we like every day. His relief as we speak of feeding thousands of people every day that have no food, have no jobs, some of them are living in, in borrowed homes, uh, this is a, this is a greatest act of charity that you could ever imagine. A month ago, I was worried about a four footer, and I really, at this point, just don't even care anymore about golf. Um, this is the biggest thing I've ever done in my life because the physical impact it had on so many people. He couldn't stand to see his his home and going through something like this, and he had to do something and. To me, you know, he could win the Masters, and this, this would be more important to me, and I think to him, to do this. To learn more, log on to feedtherelief.org.